I'm Robert. And I'm Ellen. And this is Science Scene. Thank goodness you're here, Ellen. I came over as fast as I could. What's up? I was trying to get my pet rhinoceros beetle a bath and I accidentally drowned him. Have you called 911? I can't. It's illegal for me to own him. I already have two arrests on my record. I can't afford a third. Call EMS anyway. There's amnesty laws. Okay. They're on their way. What, what can I do in the meantime? Do you know CPR? Of course. They're my favorite band. No, not CCR. CPR. Oh, sure. I was CPR certified back when I was one of the original Bevo guards. How old are you? Never mind, start CPR. <gasps> what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm giving my darling Winston mouth to mouth. Oh, uh, well, CPR has changed quite a bit since you learned it. As much as you love Winston, mouth to mouth isn't nearly as important as chest compressions. Okay. What did I do? Did I hurt him? I think I broke one of his ribs. Rhinoceros beetles don't have ribs. But even if they did, it's okay. It's much easier to heal ribs than brains. Do you think Winston could still love me like he used to if he had permanent brain damage? Uh, hey, EMS is here. And Winston is breathing again. Hooray! Your rhinoceros beetle is going to be okay thanks to your quick thinking. However, in the future, it's probably not a good idea to give um, Winston baths. I think we've all learned an important lesson today, and you can learn more about CPR by checking out today's science scene, part of the Life and Arts section of your Daily Texan.